Hello and welcome to See If It Sticks. It's back. It's the news at Sticks. <laughs> I'm Dan. I'm Dom. I'm Ross. And this week we are looking at an article from the Daily Mirror. It's oh. not our usual news source. Is it a boob? Is it someone's boobs it out? Is not a boob, but we can. Uh, the mirror is not a booby paper, is it? No, but no. Is we it can, pro we, union sentiment? We can review some naked pictures afterwards if you'd like, but they will be of me. That's fine. Okay, um, excellent. No, no, just no, one. No, just for me then. Yeah, just one. just one. Okay. Just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, what we are actually discussing is. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm really. <laughs> I was having a breakdown yeah, over, well, yeah. over the, the prospect of seeing my penis yeah. again. Again. Can never get over the last time. <laughs> well, it takes a while to take it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with all that magnification. Yeah, that you have to look at the wrong way around, like looking through binoculars the yeah. wrong way. I have to go just, to just the optician's glasses. Just to fit is it, it in. Is it better with A or B? <laughs> <laughs> um what we're looking at is uh i think we've discussed before how um sometimes you remember the uh um an event and you remember it differently to how the event actually occurred yes yes and i'm pretty sure that you guys discussed this the week that i was away i'm not entirely i'm not entirely sure but i'm like do, do you know do you know what i mean when um the kind of the the, the bad yes the mandela effect Nelson Mandela. Excellent. That was good. That, that was, was good. not bad. Yeah. That was actually not bad. Yeah. So we, you were discussing it before, right? No. We weren't discussing it the week we you were away, no. Well, we did not. I'm sure you're sure. You're playing this for jokes, aren't you? No, I'm not. But I, I thought I was, I was, I'm convinced that we, that you guys at least, or I have had this conversation before on the podcast. Uh, no, yeah, maybe. So. There's a lot of episodes. There was a lot yeah. of episodes. Well, yes, you're quite right. It's called the Mandela effect. Effect. The man- fact. The Mandela effect. Yeah. And uh, was it? Well, do you do you want do you want to explain? Um, exactly the Mandela what it is? effect is a well-known phenomenon in which uh, particularly famous events are recalled very differently to how they played out. I'm trying to think of a good example. You're talking about when you have a car crash. When you talk about it afterwards, you kind of not quite match a few details. Not quite. I mean, no? it's it's like big shit. Like. Um, oh. Can you think of a good example of the Mandela effect? Well, it's named after um, Nelson Mandela. It, yes, <laughs> it was the, uh, a paranormal enthusiast who was convinced that Nelson Mandela had died in Robben Island Prison in the 1980s, when in fact he died in 2013 at his home in Horton. Yeah, it's shit like that. It's um, like a lot of people strongly held belief that oh, I can't think of anything that, for instance. Uh, Certain people were at certain places at certain times when really that wasn't. And they're not backing down on that, even when when faced with the facts. Yeah. They're not not backing down. Yeah. Well, yes, that is, that's, that's exactly, that's exactly what it is. And uh, somewhat tenuously, uh, the um, Daily Mirror has shoehorned this into an article about uh, pop culture references, which people seem to remember in the wrong way, which Ah. I think is possibly slightly different from the uh, Mandela effect, but I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a, um, you know, an expert on it. So I thought what we would do is we'd go through and I would I would test your knowledge on these. Oh, is, it, is, like, this, is this when people think that someone was in Live Aid and they weren't? No, 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 something no. Something like that. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit like this. Here, here is a selection of what the Daily Mirror describes as the biggest memory blunders. We're going to start with uh, a little bit of Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh yeah. Don't break my heart. Yeah. Don't make you break your heart. Which is exactly not what the lyrics are. Really? Yes, that is correct. Don't break the, my heart. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. The lyric is, don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. Tell? Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Did I fall right into that? Obviously. You people, fell. You obviously, hook, line and sinker, Ross huh. Gilbert. Obviously. Well, it's actually hook, line and plinker. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? like, that works. Don't break my heart, my achy, breaky heart. Works so much better than... Don't tell my heart. Firstly, would you like me to get the song up? No, I don't no, believe no. you because now you say it. I think it is. Don't tell my heart. Okay, <laughs> give me a second. Yeah. I actually got YouTube up now. You, you get it, you get it up. I have a popular streaming service up now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus, Achy Breaky Heart. Yep. I'm, I'm almost First positive. It's don't tell my heart. <laughs> well, it. well, the Daily Mirror says so. It must be true. Oh well, yeah. 
Oh, oh do we got ads? No, no ads. Dom, turn it on, put it on mute. We can't have ads on the show. Not for free anyway. Fucking samurai people, not still not giving us any free food. This is the full video, sorry. Let me find the uh, Find chorus. the chorus, Dom. Oh my god, he's still fucking. It was a tune though, wasn't it? Oh. Was, yeah. Yeah. Look at that ponytail. He looks like a sort of country Enrique Iglesias in this video. <laughs> is it now? No. Oh. No. Still still reverse. It's all it's all around the same kind of thing. He's saying tell a lot. Fucking hell! There it is. Right, there you go then. There it is. Uh, should we move on to the next one? Yes, please. Uh, this one comes from Annie, the musical. Oh, well, I'm probably not going to know this one. Uh, it's, hard not not, life. it's not. It's not. It's not hard knock life. It's a hard knock it? life for us. Oh, so close. It's it's the hard knock life. Right. And what, and what? It's the hard knock life yes. for us. It's a knock life. Yeah. For but that one, that one, I can, that one, I can see how, yeah. like, if you weren't reading a lyric, that is you could, tenuous. You and is the, the best. Yeah, and yeah, is yeah. the are they saying that people are saying it's a hard knock life? It's yes, people say it's people say people think it's it's a hard knock life yeah. for us when it's actually it's the hard knock life for us. Right. Um, the hard knock life didn't choose me. I chose it. Yeah. Some yeah. some of these I will point out that I, I read life, I read through, I read through <laughs> this. It's a thug life. <laughs> yes. I went through this before we began and yeah. I've got to say that some some of them are one slightly funnier like are a little bit more memorable and well known like don't break my heart my achy breaky heart yeah um, and some of them are well, <laughs> go on do it <laughs> I don't want to say clutching at straws. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go but ahead. But there was obviously, there was obviously uh, some pressure to, f to, f to find 10 to get into this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, mix them in with the good ones. Uh, story of the three little pigs. Go on. What does the wolf say? I'll huff, I'll pluff, and I'll blow your house down. Well, he doesn't say anything like that. No? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll huff, I'll pluff, I'll pluff. Well, yeah, apart from my speech impediment, yeah. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll huff, huff. And I'll puff. I'll huff and, and I'll puff and, and I'll, I'll blow, blow your down. house in. Does he say in? He says in. He blows your house in. That's Does true. Yeah. Does not because blow he's in. imploding. He doesn't blow anything down. Blows he's creating down. a singularity inside the yeah, little pig's house. He's using a black hole he, hand grenade. He blows and the force of his breath against the door creates a vacuum inside the house right. and it implodes in on itself creating singularity bacon <laughs> yeah. yes, yes. A rent, event horizon pork chops yeah <laughs> let's get on to the next one et oh go on go on i know one of you wants to do the impression it's not it's et phone home it's actually et home phone he does say home phone yeah you're right i only watched it recently <laughs> um, I'm going back to the popular streaming site. Matilda yeah. was a bit taken back that the fact that Drew Barrymore was a small child in it, so I had to show yeah, her. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it's ET yeah. Home Phone. It See, is. even all these videos have ET Phone Home. On yeah, them. yeah. Oh, oh no, we got some more. <laughs> Skip it, Dom. Where's your ad blocker? This way he's dressed as Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> oh no! ET home phone. Wow. Um, stick, stick, it's stick. really weird how he looking back at that I haven't watched E.T. in a long time I haven't, I haven't how seen freaky a is it how he walks that <laughs> it's kind of scary it yeah. is it's sort of like a scuttle yeah, yeah. Uh, sticking on the kids and family favourites Toy Story yeah yeah uh, Woody, to infinity and beyond. Well, Woody's no. Woody's catchphrase about there being a snake somewhere, somewhere in a in a very in the watering hole. No, 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 no. no yeah. Someone's poisoned the watering in my hole. Boot. Yes. Yeah. You. Yeah, you're so close. Yeah, there's a snake in my boot. 
boots. Boots. As I say, snake in his boots. As I say, some of these are much weaker than others. How can it be a singular and a plural? Well, obviously, it's draped in between two. They've got two (laughs) ends, Ross. (laughs) Those snakes. (laughs) <laughs> I think, I think you're right again, Dan. I think there's a snake in my there's boots. There's a snake in my boots. Yeah? Yeah. Is there someone poison a water in hole? Oh! <laughs> Dom's mind is just... It, I can see it. It's not even ready to blow. It's just going... It's turning to liquid. I wish I'd connected his laptop up so I don't have to chop all these in afterwards. <laughs> oh, sorry. Which um, ding was that? Was that your ding? That was my ding. Apologies. Right. I undinged my phone, but I forgot to unding my laptop. Oh ah. dear, oh dear. So uh, yeah, obviously some of these are a little bit better than others, uh, but the, the entire integrity of this article falls down when it mentions Star Wars Episode 4. It doesn't even give the episode name. Um, iconic moment, right? Certain. Darth Vader says to Skywalker, Luke, I am your father. That ain't Episode 4, mate. That's definitely Episode 5, The Empire Strikes yeah. Back, and he actually yeah. says, no, I am your father. Yes. Yes. That is that is very very no, correct. I am your father. Yeah, very very true. Yeah. And that is, that's one that's one that I know is mm. is very mis is often misquoted. Yeah. And I know the it actual. Sounds like quote. it's completely misquoted. It's in, the, it's in the wrong film. Yes. Yeah. They have they have uh, attributed to to the wrong episode film. Episode four: A Phantom Menace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Episode four: The Clone Strike Empire Jedi. <laughs> yeah. Just get them all in there, mirror. And yeah. Um, this one's a bit of a weird one that uh, I can't believe that they've put this in there, but they haven't put Dirty Harry in there. Oh yeah, because that is uh, very often done as well. But the statue of the Thinker, apparently, can you both do the uh, the image of the Thinker, the statue? Oh, the statue. You want me to? to yeah, yeah, to, yeah. Uh, hang on, isn't he like? Yeah, quite, quite right. Yeah, pa- apparently, elbow acor- on knee, hand on chin. Yeah, according to this article, lots of people think that he rests his fist on his forehead. I don't shit. I'm not sure. Oh, sure like Bruce, it. like Brucey. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Bruce Forsyth. Not to see you, to see you nice. Yeah. Can we have Ergo Sam? <laughs> Can we toy? <laughs> uh, next one, Forrest Gump. Run, Forrest, run. No. Which one? It's not. Life is like. It's not. Life is like a box of chocolates, is it? It. It's not. Life is like a box of chocolates. It is. Life was like a box of chocolates. Was like? Was like. No, I'm not having that one. Because his mum always, have... always said that life was like a box of chocolates. Right, okay, because it's in okay, past yeah. tense. Yeah, I'll give you that. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Um, My best approximation of Forrest Gump, though. Yeah. Generally. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that, that is one. The Wizard of Oz, uh, you know what she says, what the Wicked Witch says to the to her monkey weird things as she... As she oh, no. Fly sends- My Pretties. Is that, is that that one? Yeah, it is that one. Yeah. It, but it ain't that one. No, <laughs> Apparently, she just says, fly, fly, fly. Right. It doesn't say, fly my pretties, fly. No, I don't believe that. You <laughs> don't, do not believe it. Amazing how much pop culture is stored in our brains. Right. Be it wrong. Be it <laughs> oh, wrong, no, wrong. it is. Oh, right. No, there's actually a video saying about the Mandela effect as the first thing. Okay, that's fine. Maybe okay. It. How many more we got? Uh, well, just one more on this one, but then I can't believe they, they've put some of them in there and, and neglected some of the other ones. Okay. So I'm just going to give you a, I'll give you a quick little rundown after as well. Uh, Morpheus in the Matrix. Right. Which bit? Uh, well, this is, this is, this says that, um, what is sort of popularly quoted these days, particularly in internet culture, is that Morpheus says to him, what if I told you? But he just doesn't say that. Ah, uh, yes. He doesn't say, what if I told you at all? That's not in any of the Matrix films. No. Uh, but I can't believe they put things like, uh, you know, snake in my boots instead of snake in my boot in there, as opposed to, um, do you feel lucky, punk? Do you? As an example, because he says, do I feel lucky? He says, because yeah, you have to ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Yeah. Well, do you, punk? Do you, <laughs> punk? Do you? Because he changes it to do you afterwards, doesn't he? Because he, he then asks him the question, doesn't he? Yeah, he yeah. says, I've got the entire quote here. Being as this is a forty-four Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and will blow your head clean off, you've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well. Well, do you, do you punk? 
Oh, oh dear. This After is fucking berating me for a ding. This is embarrassing. Now we've got a full fucking ring going on. Oh, my God. And did that say Dom on it? Are you bringing yourself? No, it says Is this gem. the Matrix? Gem. <laughs> what if I told you? <laughs> there's, a, there's a glitch. Um, but some of the other ones on here are quite good. Silence of the Lambs. You know what? Um, <laughs> yes. No, he actually says... <laughs> <laughs> it's a slightly different pattern. Um, is it what is this about the Chianti and fava beans? Yeah. No, no, no. It's when he when he when he greets her on the on the telephone. It's not hello, Clarice. It's not hello, Clarice. It's good evening, Clarice. Oh, really? Good evening, quid pro quo, Clarice. Yeah. yeah. I watched. Um, what a I, film. Jem never watched Silence of the Lambs, so I watched about half of it with her recently before bed one night, and we sort of just got too tired to continue watching it. And I've just realised how. Re- Ridiculous Anthony Hopkins voice as Hannibal Lecter is. Oh, yeah. Why? I just think it is. I just, uh, but it's also like, it's classic, it's iconic, but it's also like, that is a silly fucking voice. Don't you think it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a little bit sort of dead, like. No, it's a bit clowny at points. You think yeah. it's a bit he does chew the scenery at certain points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's supposed to be a psychopath, but well, he's a sociopath, really. That's the whole point. He's supposed to be yeah. a sociopath, isn't he? Which I think um, the recent—I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever watched um, the Hannibal series with Mads. I haven't. No, uh, I heard it's quite good. Some of it. It's a good watch because yeah. he plays it really, really straight. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just very. I have one of those memories of that film because I watched it when I was quite young with my, yeah. my, my auntie's house. But I never used to get to my auntie's house at the weekend. We <laughs> Fifteen-year-old to... Ross. Bow wow. Yeah. <laughs> we used to. <laughs> yeah. Would you fuck me? Um, I'd fuck me. I, fuck me hard. I used to. She used to put on films that were well above the rating that I was allowed to watch at like yeah, ten yeah, years I was old. Watch The Exorcist. Yeah. No, I did. I did watch all those when I was quite young. And um, I remember like the, you know the guy he's jacking off in the bed and she oh. was passing is in her hair yeah, yeah, yeah. oh what's his name oh that's gonna kill me now I remember when I was younger going Mix. what was that <laughs> to my uh, aunt and my aunt having to like caught like trying to explain her way out of it and you'll find out older, when you're 13 <laughs> and then when you're older you go fuck, it all comes back to you doesn't it you're like oh god I asked what that was yeah. Migs oh, that's his name Migs Migs it's like mad Migs mad that's Migs. right he, he keeps he, on frigging that jizz in her eye doesn't he, he? He, keeps, he keeps saying he can smell a pussy can't he yeah is that what he says yep. yeah he's like oh I said it was fine and then he just and she goes up to the thing and he turns around and he goes, Whoa, Spider-Man's a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know what you're it. trying to tell me, I Dr. Doctor. it was his shampoo or something. I don't know what, what she said. But I mean, you know, when you're older, I so would as soon just, as you're old enough to realise what it is, you go, oh God. Do you know what I would have said? I said, well, he must have spat in his hand. Yeah. Because that's ew to a kid as well. Yeah. And that would make you go ew anyway. Yeah. Even as an adult. Yeah. Unless Definitely. you're consenting adults, of course. Wow. Well. And you're into that. Goodbye, horses. Sorry. <laughs> but I've got two more for you on this uh, on this other one. Now that we've left the Daily Mirror and there's the actual important ones on there. All about Eve. Fasten your seatbelts. You know, obviously that what that quote is. All about Eve. All about yeah. Eve. As in, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It's going to be a bumpy night. Really? Uh, oh. Yeah. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy is night. Is that the name of the film? All about Eve. I've ne- never watched it. No. I, I have actually. Quote. I've never watched. I've never watched it either. I just, I just know, I know the quote. Mis, misquoted. Quote. But yeah, you know, yeah. You know the quote. And finally, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What does she say to her mirror? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Or is it in the land? Fuck. <laughs> it's got a rhyme, Russ. Well, mirror, I don't think mirror you did. on the wall. Who is the? It's not fairest. I think it's it is fairest. It's fairest. Yeah. Of, yeah. See, I know this one, which yeah. is weird. Mirror, I don't know why. Maybe walls. I've just spent a lot and an inordinate amount of time wrong? as a child watching Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? One of one all, of all. Yeah. right? Oh, yes, proper English, Ross. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's that's well, that. They were there. Americans, so they weren't speaking proper English. <laughs> no, she's um, Maleficent. Is um, that is her? Isn't it Maleficent? Nope. Maleficent no, that's the other yeah. one. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, Maleficent is the Sleeping Beauty. Which one's that one? Which one's that one called? called what? Evil Queen. Oh, the Evil Queen. I don't know. She's got a different because it's from a Grimm's fairy tale. Oh, I don't. So know. I think she's actually got a proper name in that, but I couldn't tell you. Oh before. right, okay. Um, yeah, who is the who is the fairest one of all? Mirror. They've all got those kind of like faux English accents, haven't they? In Disney, uh, Snow White was um, played by what's the chops recently, wasn't it? Oh, Charlie Theron. 
Uh, she was the queen. Did she did? She, she was did the, the evil queen. The oh yes, yeah. she? she was mm. the. She was. The, she definitely was the fairest one of all. Yeah. Um. Who played the? Who played Snow White? I thought Chris Hemsworth. Wasn't it? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was the huntsman. No. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Who played Snow White. Oh, who who cares? Snow White? I don't know, all these live action remakes of these sort of film. I don't know. It's Maleficent it's, was good. I thought that was a very good film. Uh, I thought it was shit. Yeah, what, um, do you know what put me off about watching that? Having to look at Angelina Jolie. Really? Oh, you don't like to look at her? Oh, it's a foul creature, isn't it? Really? It used to be great, but you know, when I was a teenager, but since like... I don't you know, want to look at Angelina Jolie. Ooh, God, I'm gaunt. I'd rather look at Charlie Theron. You're but. gaunt and like, ooh, it's like a, it's like a really bad piece of meat. <laughs> She. Stop saying it. <laughs> it's like a really bad piece of meat. <laughs> the Mandela effect. Everybody thought Tad said it, but actually. <laughs> um, well, that's the news for this week. Yeah. Jungle Book was good, though. Yeah, Jungle Book was very good. Uh, Didn't I think it was Jungle as Book. good as Maleficent, though. Oh, I thought it was better than that. Yeah. I loved Maleficent. Yeah. I don't know. I just oh, liked. Uh, that's like listening to I ben, liked. Like listening to Ben Kingsley. Huh? I like listening to Ben Kingsley yeah. as yeah. Bagheera. And I also Didn't like Bill um, Murray as Baloo. I thought that was a good casting choice. And, and Idris think... as well, he was in it, wasn't he? Do you know what I didn't... You know, I'll tell you what, I didn't like... I didn't like the... I liked the uh, actual animation. Please tell me that you absolutely love Christopher Walken as Louis. Hated it. Mob boss Louis. Hated it. Oh. I wasn't taken by it. I want to be it. a man. man. Yeah. Cold it, They fucked up that song. They added a pointless yeah. another verse to it. They didn't get to the real like swinging bit. Like oh, that's ooh, the ooh, do. yeah, that's the best. I want to be like you. That's the best bit about the original you, film. That, I want to walk like you, talk like you too. Yeah, and why also was he three stories tall? That was I know odd. they explained they explained it away like he's like some ancient ape or something. But oh, come off it. That's dumb. That's not even realistic. I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Talking ape, I can get behind. <laughs> Three story tall, giant ape. Small boy talking. raised by a fucking whatever panther wolf pack. Or whatever it was. He wasn't a small boy, it was a man cub. Man cub. And he was raised by a wolf pack, and the panther took him under his wing. Oh, of course he did, yeah. Yeah. Bag it up! Oh, anyway, sorry. Yeah, like, I, 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 I appreciate that they, they, you know, they sort of go for like a bit of a darker tone, but like, and. The Jungle Book isn't exactly the lightest children's story no, of not, all time. Right. It, it is pretty dark in parts, but there is, you know, like they don't have to go dark with the whole thing, like the whole Christopher Walken big ape thing. Like that was serious. I, didn't, I also didn't enjoy Scarlett dark. Johansson as the snake. No, oh. me neither. Mm. Also, yeah, there wasn't really a lot of screen time for that snake. He gets quite a bit of screen time in the uh, animated one. Yeah, What's his song? Yeah. Trust in me. Just. In me. He tries to wrap him up in his with yeah. Eyes. Yeah. 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 Wah, wah, wah. Which is something pan- uh, pythons cannot do. I don't think. No, you can hypnotise a snake, can't you? I hate to call Rudyard Kipling a liar. Yeah, <laughs> snakes cannot hip- hypnotise human beings. And where the hell was Ricky Ticky Davy? Who? Oh, you're, you know, the di- I'm talking about the actual Jungle Book. Oh. Well, the book of Jungle Book. The book of Jungle. I know. I'm talking about. We're talking about the animated. We don't Disney read classic. stuff, Dom. We just watch the stuff on the. Oh. On the I'll read stuff if it's not visually available. <laughs> <laughs> There's a visual adaption of it, then I'm sure watch it. I read that a lot. Was a young kid. Did you? Yeah, yeah. It's very. It's a lot. Goes into a lot more detail about the lore of the jungle. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. There's a whole. There's a whole. There's a whole expanded universe then. <laughs> wow. God. <laughs> Maybe they should do like a do a like, a, like a Peter Jackson uh, yeah. Jungle Book, like three three and a half hour films <laughs> where barely anything happens. Yeah, they do a lot of walking. Yeah. No, do you know what? I, I I will take you up on that. I didn't have too much of a problem with the Lord of the Rings films with all the walking. It was mostly the Hobbit. The yeah. Hobbit was terrible. Ho- Hobbit yeah. prequels are going to, I think, dog trilogies forever. Yeah. I mean, I know they did still do a lot of walking in the Hobbit. But I mean, I know the Lord of the Rings gets ripped for being a film about people walking. Yeah, I love that. Though. But then Mad Max was a film about people driving, wasn't it? Yeah, um, but well, that uh, but uh, that goes uh, that is like that though. Yeah, it, it adheres to my perfect length of film. Yeah. It's optimal. <laughs> uh, it is a good film. It starts it's film. and then it finishes. Yeah, it's glorious. Is nothing and in between. awesomeness occurs in the middle. I'm yeah. still talking. We're still talking about that film. That's how good that is. Glorious. 
Well, on that note, I'm going to uh, finish the news for this week. We'll be back on Thursday solving your first world problems. If you have any, do get in contact with us by heading to stickitpod, S-T-I-C-K-I-T-P-O-D dot com, C-O-M. And sending them to us. <laughs> you have all the links to all of our social media channels and everything you could possibly need about the show on that website, including our past episodes. We'll be back on Thursday. I've been Dan. I've been Dom. I've been Ross. And we're Desmate! Right, there we go.